So hello everyone. Um, I'm going. No, please. Not now. I just have. Yeah, I just have a small introduction. So um, I mean, the star of my show won't be me. It will be me, but as a cartoon. So um, I'm going to present to you a video that is part of a successful successful project, a crowdfunding project. So um, we did a crowdfunding to raise some money for my PhD. And uh, I, I really think like, and the video was a success, and I really think small videos like with three or four minutes are very good for uh, uh, showing science and to know scientists and that people really like it and they can like be interested in science and have the insights to look for it. So I'm just gonna show you the video that is already a, a success and that's it, so let's start. Hello everyone, my name is Marcela and I'm a PhD student from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro from the Biophysics Institute. I'm going to present to you my PhD project, that is the genome sequencing of the golden muscle. Well, you all know what a muscle is. Usually they are very, very delicious to eat. But this one I work with, there is around one centimeter in size we cannot eat and it's causing lots of troubles. It came from China in ballast water, the water that is used to ballast ships when they are empty. It arrived in Argentina in 1991 and rapidly spread through South American continental waters. By 2001, it was spread from La Plata to the Paraná River. Today, it's already present at the Pantanal wetlands. This research takes part in a bigger project to avoid golden mussel reaching Amazonian waters. You know, these mussels took the same grow and reproduce too seriously. They grow side by side, one under the other, they grow, grow, grow. In one year, they can go from 5 mussels per meter square to 105,000 mussels per meter square. Like this, they clog, power they clog pipelines of power plants, they attach to trees, even to the shells of other native bivalves that are unable to open their valves and end up dying. But the worst part is not it. They are very well adapted to the tropical climate and now they only can do three things. Eat, sleep, and they to reproduce. But not necessarily in that order. They, they eat much more than they sleep, but they eat even more. They eat so much that they make the algae disappear. Fish eat so much of them that they end up dying of indigestion. Scientists call it an ecosystem engineer because it changes the environmental it invades, decreasing biodiversity. But we do not know enough about this muscle. We know it can attach very well to the biases that is produced by the foot muscle. But how does food can do that? That's the kind of questions we want to answer. We want to understand its DNA and genome to be able to understand the muscle better. But you know, this kind of research is very expensive. And that is why we need your help. Our lab has already sequenced a transcriptome from the good, for the golden muscle, and now we want to do the entire genome. But how it would benefit you? Beyond gaining our infinite love and the relief of saving Amazon from this plague, we are going to name after you the genes and proteins find out by this research. For instance, my name is Marcelo Liano. If I find out an amazing protein, it would be named Ulianina. The better your, your help, the better the way you have a protein or a super enzyme named after you. Geek stuff, right? But imagine a Juanese. I think it's amazing. At Katarzy, if we do not get the 4,000 bucks we are asking for, we don't get anything. So please invite your friends and help us to sequence this genome. If you have any problems, please contact us. We'll be very happy to hear from you. And also, we'll be very happy to explain to you a little bit better about our scientific world. Thanks a lot. That's it, thanks. <laughs> so it's in YouTube, Vimeo, and you can like use to show kids and people, you know, a little bit about science. So that's it, thanks a lot. <laughs> 